about the things that I love about the Netherlands. And there's somebody, one of you, could not comment in the comment section. They came to my, they DM'd me and they wanted to know whether I was really, really serious about those things that I had said about me loving the Netherlands. And I was serious. By the way, I was serious about that video. And everything I said there is everything that I have experienced. So they wanted to know, Doreen, don't you love Kenya anymore? I mean, you are crying here on this. I mean, you almost cried. You did cry. You almost cried on this channel. Three weeks when you came to the Netherlands and you are telling us how you miss Kenya, how you're frustrated and everything. And now we are just now telling us that now you don't miss Kenya anymore and now you love the, the Netherlands. Yes, I am telling you that, but I still miss Kenya. And today I'm making a video about the things that I miss about Kenya. And to be honest with you, as much as I love being here, there is no single day that passes without me missing home some of these reasons will just surprise you because some of them are very petty very very petty the first reason i miss about kenya is food i know you guessed that right food i miss kenyan food i mean i have adapted to dutch culture and food bread i i love bread i mean in fact bread is my main and doing here um I need to cut on the amount of bread that I'm eating. But I do miss Kenyan food. I miss the Kenyan green leafy vegetables. I miss the Kenyan fish. I miss the Kenyan meat. I miss the Kenyan fruits. I mean, I just miss the Kenyan food and I miss it every day. I try to make this place home. But at the back of my mind, there is just something inside of me that misses that food every day although here we eat foods that other kenyans eat kind of maybe i made a video about the foods that we eat here so if you are interested in knowing the, the food that we eat here you can go watch that video i'm going to link it up so that you can go check it out but i don't miss food there are so many things that i miss about kenyan food and the second thing that i miss about kenya is the help i miss help so much i don't even know how much i can explain this for you to get it i mean you just have to have lived in kenya and have had kids and then the help that you get when you have kids the nannies that come to help around in the house and the kids if you have experienced that and then you have experienced life abroad still with those children and still with you especially as a woman as a mother who is trying to raise her children and who is trying to advance her career and who is also a wife then you'll understand that it is not easy of course there is a lot of help here you can always get an and you can take your child to a daycare but it is an arm and a leg and a leg and arm and a leg and an arm and two legs so it, it's just tough and I, I miss help because in kenya you can get you can get a house help within your budget according to you can you cut your court according to your, your, your size and you can always get somebody to help you around the house even if you're not going to get a nanny to help you with the kids then you have friends you have family i mean around you and they, they can always help you when you're in need here like for for, for us here we don't have our friends here we don't have our relatives here we are just us of course we have friends but you can't really compare with home you can't because everybody is busy so like here where we live we have a neighbor of ours who is a very good neighbor she's tanzanian and she sometimes when we are we are leaving the house sometimes we can drop our son there to play there with with her daughter and it's really good at least we have uh, such a neighbor because here we are not about i'm a kenyan and you're tanzanian we are both africans so it feels good but we can't compare i mean i just can't compare that with what we have back home so yes i miss help i miss all the nannies that have i miss them so 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 much because it is hard it is hard to it is just hard to multitask honestly sometimes you can run mad okay i've never run i've never ran mad but and then the third reason i miss about kenya is family and friends i can't stress this point enough i mean every day 
I spend here. I don't know whether it's ever going to end because they say that um, you really never, you really never move on. You know, I feel like I feel like I'm actually. <laughs> sometimes I joke with my friends and my 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 sisters, and I tell them that I feel like I I was heartbroken. Honestly, I feel like I'm nursing a heartbreak. I don't know whether it even makes sense. I feel like I'm nursing a heartbreak. Like when you have really lived in a place for, I have lived in Kenya for 33 years. And then I feel like I was just, of course I wanted to come here, but I feel like it was different. Expectations and reality, they are so different. I mean, I feel like my life was just cut. And then I was carried and placed in a new country with a new culture and everything kind of just new. So I feel like I was heartbroken, my, my heart was broken and now I'm trying to heal. And you, of course, if you try, you know, you know how it, relationships work. If you heal, you always try to remember the good times you had with your partner, the, the sweet memories, the time you spent, the memories you created. That is exactly how I feel sometimes. <laughs> That is how I feel. I feel like I had very sweet memories. Of course, there were bad ones, but I had the good times in Kenya, in Nairobi, especially because that is where I have lived as an adult. So a lot as an adult and a mother and a wife. So I fantasize a lot about life in Nairobi, in my house in Nairobi, how it was like in Nairobi, how I would hang around with friends how my brothers and my brothers-in-law would come around how my sisters-in-law would come around and would have a good time it was really good i mean i miss that and i i think about that i just i'm moving on i'm really nursing my heartbreak but i'm so glad that we can always go back there once in a while but of course it's 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 very far i mean it's not like you're just going to hop on the next bus and then within 15 minutes you're there no you have to it takes forever like kind of like forever but i miss my family i miss my friends so if you are watching this video and you are looking to come to europe or even to just to get out of kenya i mean those are the things that you will miss you can you cannot really know that you will miss your people until you're out of that place i didn't know either you know sometimes i feel like i would have said goodbye in a better way i feel like i did really say goodbye in a better way i feel like i would have you know the way people hug each other at the airport and they cry i, I didn't do i didn't even cry i, I didn't do any of those things <laughs> i felt like i was abnormal because people cry people shed tears i was there at the airport just pulling languages and I didn't even cry <laughs> but yes i i miss them a lot every day and of course this one this one i miss the weather i miss the weather in kenya like i miss the weather in kenya i can't say how much i miss the weather in kenya of course right now you guys can see i don't know that you can see behind me but it, it looks so bright so we are just entering spring today as i record this video it is 15 degrees celsius 15 degrees celsius yay that is like we are celebrating we are used to two degrees three degrees negative if it's better seven degrees so 15 degrees is really 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 good in fact you can just walk with a shot without because i can see out there out there people are not really wearing heavy jackets anymore but yeah i miss kenya i miss the weather in kenya i miss how it would shine every morning apart from a few gloomy mornings but it would shine every morning i would feel the sun almost every day i would i mean i just miss the weather i miss how i miss how it will drain <laughs> with thunder and lightning who misses thunder and, and lightning but i just miss how it would shine i miss how it would rain i miss the temperature i miss how i would wear my clothes throughout the um the year without worrying about this one i'm keeping it for apart from jackets we wear when it's raining but i just miss the kenyan weather and now this point will really surprise you do you know what i miss i miss kenyan matatus 
this even doesn't make sense because if you're comparing Kenyan matatus, Kenyan matatus, matatus are the public transport, public transport buses. Okay, not really buses because there are many. There are vans, there are buses. The public transport of vehicles, the commuter vehicles in Kenya, those are what we call matatu. So I miss the public transport in Kenya because the public, I, I know I say that I like the public transport in the Netherlands, but I find that I just miss that chaotic public transport. <laughs> Maybe I don't make sense, but I just miss that. I make, I miss that noise. You know, when you're in Kenya, in Nairobi specifically, okay, in Nairobi, let me use the example of Nairobi. If you're going to board a vehicle and there are not so many people there, the conductors will run for you. They'll run for you and then they will try to convince you to get into this bus, this bus, this one is leaving, this one is not leaving. And then there will be music in the in the in the vehicles, music, um, maybe some radio program going on, some beautiful podcast of people discussing some politics or somebody will just be telling stories a random guy or a random woman will just be telling the whole i mean just telling stories it's not quiet it's not like it's not perfect i just miss that imperfect part of it i miss that imperfect part that is what i miss about the kenya matatu i just miss the kenyan public <laughs> the chaotic part i miss it I miss the chaotic part. You know, sometimes the things are so perfect. You start to miss the imperfect nature of life. You, you start to miss when things are not going on well. I don't know why that is human nature, but I, I miss that. Just getting into a matatu and the matatu is not going. And then <laughs> it's taking forever to leave. <laughs> that sounds crazy. And of course, I also miss shopping. I miss shopping in Kenya a lot. I miss shopping. I miss, especially not in supermarkets because the supermarkets is just kind of the same. I mean, not the same, like here they are a bit advanced, but most of the things are the same. By the way, that reminds me, I did a video about comparison of supermarkets in Kenya and in the Netherlands. You guys, if you want to go watch that video, you should go check it out because I really, I really brought out the differences and similarities between supermarkets here in the Netherlands and back in Kenya. So what I miss about shopping in Kenya is shopping at the local markets. My God, I miss that. I really miss when I go shopping and, you know, when you're going to shop clothes at, the, at, at Gikomba. Gikomba is the one of the largest open air markets in East Africa. It is the largest open air market in Kenya. I miss shopping in Gikomba, where everybody is screaming proud prizes. It is chaotic, but I love it. I miss I miss shopping there because I just miss it. The the the, the crowd, the the happiness. People are just people are you just buy clothes you fit there and you you signal your next neighbor who is also fitting and you ask them how do i look and then you turn around then they, they tell you know this one we look better with this we look better with this i mean and that person is a stranger you you don't know them you're not even going to meet but you're there conversing like you guys know each other but anyway i miss the markets buying foods vegetables here are their markets but they are not as they don't have the African foods as much. So I miss shopping at the markets where I can be able to buy those African vegetables, foods. I just miss the, the vibe. I miss the vibe of shopping there. When you're shopping, people are screaming prizes. And yeah, it's some of these things, if, if you are watching and you're a Kenyan, you're looking at me like, how do you miss such things? I mean, don't you miss organization? Yes, I do miss. I don't I don't like organization. But that is the life I have grown up, the life of chaoticness. So I've just gotten accustomed to it that when I when I'm I'm away from it, I appreciate order. But then something inside of me just misses that chaotic nature of life. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm making any sense, but that is just how how you feel when things are very perfect. <laughs> and then I won't end this video without saying what I miss for my kids because I have two children and there are things that I miss for my children. 
Number one, I miss play time for my children. I miss those times when my son will come from school, just come home, uh, take off his bag, baby, get a snack and then go play. Like he would play the entire afternoon and then just come back to take a shower, eat dinner, then sleep. It will be play, 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 play. Okay, here there is play. There is a, we take them to the garden to play with other kids, but it's not throughout the year. Right now, at least they can get out because it is spring but when it is winter there is no getting out so i miss that for my children i also miss some of the school trends in kenya where kids can eat at school they don't have to to carry packed lunch i really miss that by the i miss that because i used to know that uh, at school the kids are going to eat a balanced diet of course here i can do that i can pack them a balanced diet but you know, if you pack, it's good that they say that you pack foods that can be eaten faster, not like, they, they kind of discourage to pack. You know, you know, you know if, I, if I'm to pack my child real food that we eat in our house, it will be messy, it will be messy. So we just pack bread and maybe some, we just pack a sandwich and that is it. That is what they take. But in, if they're eating at school, it is a proper, like let's say a proper meal where they are having some, you know, you know what I mean. The, the the type of foods are there, and they sit down and have a proper meal. So I miss that about Kenya. I miss that because I knew if my son goes to school, uh, we have paid the um the school fees. So when he goes to school in the morning, I just dress him up, then the van will pick him, and from there, I am done. I will pick him up when he comes. Sometimes he just comes and he's at the door, he's in the house. So here I have to prepare him. I have to go with him to school. I have to go pick him up, bring him back to the house. I mean, it's just up and down, up and down. I miss that for them. I miss that for him. And yeah, I miss his play. And I also miss when he has somebody in the house to take care of him if I am busy because it means I'm always here with him or his dad is with him so i cannot i cannot really think of never going anywhere without him or never having to leave him with somebody it is i i really miss um i really miss that in i really miss that i, I really miss it i really miss all that kind of um, arrangements in kenya which here is is it's not really unless you have a family here there are people who have families here i have seen especially the dutch who have families here it's very easy just take your child to your mother or your father or whoever you're taking your child to then you can go wherever you want to go so i really miss that for my children a lot i also miss for my children i also miss my children meeting their relatives i am a grown-up I already know who my relatives are. I mean, I know my, my sisters, my cousins, my, we can talk on phone, like we regularly talk. But my children, they're still young. So if they don't see their uncles, if they don't communicate with their my our parents regularly, then they will forget about them. They will not know that they have they have people. They will just know me. They just know us, their parents alone. So I miss that about because we, our our, our brothers and sisters would visit and our kids will get to meet them and they'll grow up knowing, oh, I have an uncle, I have an auntie. Because for us in Africa, relation is very, very important in Kenya specifically because um, I discovered that as much as we talk about Africa, Africa is big with different uh, cultures. So I'm talking for Kenya, not for Africa. Anyway, there are so many things that I miss about Kenya. Some are very weird. Some are, can make sense and some will not even make sense to some people, especially those who are in Kenya. There are so many and I'm not going to exhaust all of them. Maybe I'll make another video another day. I can't really promise. But I was so glad that I was so glad that I was able to share these things with you so that you can see that as much as I love living here, I still miss Kenya and I still miss the people there and the life there and i miss them every day of my life here and thank you for watching please like this video 
if you didn't watch that video of the reasons why i love the netherlands i'm going to link it here so that you can go watch it and i'll see you in that next video